morning guys, uh, Monday morning, um, just down at the bottom end of the estate where I do a bit of contract work from, um, just out with Flailmore at the moment, just tidying up this strip down here, uh, it's a bit of a pathway for um, people on the estate, for dog walkers and horses, just have a quick trot round, um, out with Flail and say, on the back, MDL power up Flail, 7 foot I think it is, so it's got 2.1 metres. Um, doing a nice little job again. Can't really fault this flail actually, which is uh, pretty strong. I think we're going to change the flails though, I think we're going to put big, bigger flails on it because the ones they got are a bit lightweight, They're just the Chinese ones. Um, but yeah, it's made a, made a nice job. Been busy down here recently trying to cut the trees back, um, trying to get all this area opened up a bit more. We've planted a couple of acres of trees in here in the last couple of years. Um, unfortunately the Himalayan balsams in there and they're quite tightly packed so the trees are quite tightly packed in so I can't mow in between them um, but they'll come through they're poking their heads up above all the weeds and the rubbish now so it's not too bad um, we're in the T5 115 this morning um, I'm just steady away really but I thought I'd just show you flail again I know I did a video a while back about it where she was just mowing away um, I thought I'd just go through a couple of quick bits with her while I'm at the end of this row and I'll just knock her off the reason I bought this one instead of a solid rear mounted one is I like the offset you're not tramming over the top of the stuff you're going to cut um, and I can go up and down the hills and the banks so we've got quite a few around here um, but I also like the fact you can raise her up um, like to fail stop so you can lift her up vertical so you can face up some of the trees I've done them down here before um, just tidying up bits and pieces and then the other way as well she'll go down quite far I'm at the top of the linkage at the moment she'll do kind of negative banks if you, you know what I mean um, also it's side shift so you can pull her in behind the tractor if you want to which I do use quite a bit as well and then of course you're up and down again from that um, she does stick out a little bit out of the side from there you can see down the mirror so it's a little bit offset still um, we'll have a quick walk around it go we'll run it So yeah, I've been quite impressed with this, especially for the price of it. Um, cheaper than like the Machio type ones, um, but it's well built, to be honest. See the thickness of steels on them. Must be about five mil steel on it. And the flails are on it, kind of standard. You can see up in there. But they are a bit on the lightweight side. They're hollowed out on the backs of them. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll change them over when we get five minutes um, but I've had this for about a year now I think it is and does quite a few bits and pieces and jobs with it um, it's smashed up quite a few little bushes and things we've got a lot of reed grass as well that she's cut up and chopped up um, this is one of the worst bits down here that I've mowed off I don't know if you can see particularly well on that what the angles and the dangles are like but it does roll and roll across a bit there and it follows it quite nicely to be honest um, this was about eight inches of grass so it mashes it up quite well um, yeah the t5 well not my t5 the state's t5 <laughs> so yeah right well i better get on with it really and finish off um thought i'd just do a quick one there just to show you it flail um on one of my monday morning jobs so I hope you have a good day and we'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.